I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and in this video we're going to talk all about snorkels fitting your 2007 to 2018 JK and we're actually going to take you out on the trail and show you exactly why you need one in some situations. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel that way you can check out some detailed videos about each of the snorkels we talk about today and all of the other products we have on the website. Again these are just my picks for my top three snorkels but there are going to be a lot of different choices. So there are a few different reasons that you'll want to install a snorkel on your Jeep. The first one is of course course if you spend a lot of time playing in the mud or doing some water crossings where you may otherwise get water sucked up into the engine. Water into the intake of the engine can hydrolock the engine which at its worst case scenario can require a full engine replacement so that's definitely something you want to stay away from and a snorkel is going to be great for that. Another reason to install a snorkel is the fact that it's the only true cold air intake you can get for your Jeep. Any other cold air intake is still going to be drawing air from underneath the hood and no matter how hard it tries to get cool fresh air, it's not going to be that efficient. A snorkel drawing air from outside the vehicle is a true cold air intake giving you maximum performance out of your Jeep. And finally, some snorkels will come with a pre-filter. So if you do a lot of wheeling in the sand or in other dusty scenarios, having a filter before the air even gets to your regular engine filter is going to be very beneficial, making sure you're not sucking a bunch of junk into the engine. So we're going to talk about three different snorkels today. First, the Red Rock 4x4 snorkel. That's going to be the least expensive option, a fairly basic snorkel that's still going to get the job done. Then we're going to jump into the ARB Safari snorkel that attaches to your Jeep in a slightly different fashion. And finally, we're going to talk about the Rugged Ridge XHD snorkel. That's the one we have installed on the Jeep behind us. This has a low mount that you see here, also a high mount and a pre-filter. And this is the one we're going to be demoing today. So let's jump into all three options. So like I said, the first snorkel I want to talk about today is this Rugged Ridge 4x4 snorkel. This is going to be the least expensive one that we're going to talk about today. And this is going to go through the hood, which is one of the more traditional ways that a snorkel will actually go from the outside of the vehicle to the inside of the vehicle. So with most of these snorkels, in fact with all of them, you are going to have to do some cutting to get them installed in your Jeep. And it's really up to you what's less painful for you to cut into the hood or the fender with some of the other ones. So we'll talk about the other options in just a second. This one, you do have to cut a little bit of a notch in the hood. Now, going along with that, you have this piece running all the way along the top of the fender. So there's a little bit more snorkel that you actually see. Now, this is of course a visual thing. It doesn't really affect how the snorkel is going to work, but it is something to keep in mind because you are gonna have this bolted to the side of your Jeep for the foreseeable future. Of course, this does come all the way up to the top of the windshield frame, giving you plenty of clearance over even the deepest water. And you're going to have a bit of a cap up here with a grid over top of it, just to make sure no birds make a nest in there while your Jeep is parked. So this snorkel is going to work for you. It's going to require you to cut through the hood and also to modify your factory air box. It's not going to have a lot of bells and whistles. It's going to be fairly basic, but it is going to get the job done for you. Now the next snorkel I want to talk about, this is ARB Safari Snorkel. This one's going to be a little bit pricier. It has a little bit of a nicer fit and finish to it, but it's also going to attach to the Jeep a little bit differently. So as you can see here, this just has a very short runner in this section here because this goes through the body of the Jeep. This actually goes through the fender where the other one went through the hood. So that's going to be a little bit different. You see less of the snorkel on the outside of the Jeep. And if that's important to you, this option may be a little bit better because of this one going through the fender. It has a little bit more going on on the inside of the Jeep. So the installation is going to be a little bit more involved, but still nothing crazy. Again, it goes all the way up to the top of the windshield frame. So you have lots of clearance for the deep water and you have a little bit of a cap on there with a grid. Now, the final option is actually the option that I like the best. This is the Rugged Ridge XHD snorkel. And the reason I like this the best is I hate drilling big holes in the side of my Jeep or cutting big holes anywhere in the Jeep. Anything that you can't hide at a later date, I always like the option to go back to a factory style and that's what this gives you. This requires a little bit of cutting but you actually do it underneath a panel that you remove from the cowl so if you ever take the snorkel off you can go back to factory. This also doesn't require you to modify your factory air box. It actually changes out the bottom half of the factory air box with this piece that you see here. So again, no major modifications. You can go back to essentially a stock look with just a small cut that gets hidden by a body panel. The other big benefit to this snorkel is that it is a modular snorkel. So what you see here and what we have on the Jeep is the low mount. 
That's going to be just above the cowl. It's going to be a great cold air intake. And if you're just doing some really short crossings, maybe you're worried about the entrance into a puddle, creating a little bit of a wave, and you just want a little bit of protection, you can run the low mount. That's going to give it to you. If you plan on going through some deeper stuff, you can pop the high mount into place. This attaches very easily, and this is going to move that air intake all the way up to the top of the windshield frame, like the other snorkels that we talked about. And this also has that pre-filter. And I mentioned that before, the pre-filter is going to be great because it's going to give you an additional filter before the air even gets to the main air filter. So if you're somebody who does a lot of wheeling in an area where there's sand or there's a lot of dust, that's going to be really beneficial to keep a lot of junk from getting in the engine that otherwise would get in there. So that's a lot of talking about snorkels, but it's a lot more fun to show you why you need one. So we're going to hit the trail and find some deep water. So here we are, we're at Pitt Junior. This is a pretty decent sized body of water that we're gonna take this Jeep through and show you exactly the type of scenario that you would want to have a snorkel installed on your Jeep for. Now, this pit is supposed to have a pretty hard bottom as far as the middle of it goes anyway, but as you go to either side where it gets a little bit deeper, there's some sediment on the bottom, it can get a little bit sloppy. So we're gonna run it, we're gonna play with it a little bit and see how deep we can go without getting completely stuck and me having to go for a swim to hook up a winch line. But first things first, we're gonna pop on the high mount. We do expect the water to be high enough that we would want the high mount installed on the Jeep. So let's get rid of the low mount and pop the taller one on. All right, so here we are. We got the high mount bolted up. Just gonna go for it. We've had a ton of rain. I have to say, I'm a little bit nervous not knowing exactly how deep it is, but hopefully at least the wave uh, in front of the Jeep should come up over the hood. So here we go. Just gonna hit it in second gear, four high, get a little bit of momentum going, just in case we do have a little bit of a soft bottom. Here we go. <laughs> well, we made it. <laughs> Definitely shouldn't have hit it in second. You should have gone uh, for first gear, but we made it. Bogged down a little bit. It was definitely up to the hood. A little bit of a splash, a little bit of a wave came over the hood. So after that first run, I know what to expect. I know how deep it is. I know what the bottom's like. I want to give this snorkel a little bit more of a test. So I want to find something a little bit deeper. And I understand the left is a little deeper, but also has a little bit of a softer bottom, so I'm gonna carry some more momentum through so I don't get stuck, which is also going to mean a bigger wave over the hood. So deeper water, bigger wave, going faster. Let's just do it, see what happens. Woo. <laughs> Well, I definitely got some water over the hood, that's for sure. And really, that is why you install a snorkel on your Jeep. It's not necessarily about the total depth of the water that you're driving through. It's if you were coming off of a bank and you have a really steep entrance where that intake might get dunked underwater. It's if you want to just go out there and rip around and go fast and have a good time. I can do that. I have the confidence of knowing that none of that water is going to get sucked into the engine and not just ruin my day, but ruin my year if I have to buy a new engine for my Jeep. So I would absolutely not do that with a stock intake, but I feel perfectly confident doing it with a snorkel. And that's what running a snorkel is all about. So that's going to do it for this video. We talked about that Red Rock 4x4 snorkel, the ARB Safari snorkel, and we talked about and demoed for you the Rugged Ridge XHD modular snorkel. We had a blast out here. We actually hit water so hard and so fast that we lost not one, but two fender flares, all in the name of showing you why you need a snorkel. And I think we did a great job of just that. Make sure you comment below. Let us know what you think. If you're running a snorkel, if you like it, if you think they're stupid, if you like a different model that we didn't talk about today. And also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you can check out some more videos about all these individual snorkels that we talked about today products on the website and some of the best Jeep content out there.